RCX Biz. From the creators of the Big Small Racing Series RCCO and the World EX Championship. Daytona International Raceway has come to R Factor 2, and the iconic US racetrack has been host to Round 2 of World EX Biz, the little sister of the World EX Championship, which means business. The stunning track in Florida will also host Round 2 of the RCCO World EX Championship, presented by Patrick Long Esports on April the 4th. Patrick Long's Henry Drury was a popular addition to the grid in World EX Biz. The US-based Brit had some issues with his computer and could not set a time in qualifying. Despite being involved in various incidents in both races, he nevertheless enjoyed being part of World EX Biz for the first time as this new eSports racing series is more about networking than results. World EX co-founder Mike Rockefeller was back on the biz grid after winning the two opening rounds at Spa Francorchamps. The Daytona 24 winner clinched pole position and was heading for a third victory in a row when a slight mistake in the infield caused a spin and contact with the barriers. I should not talk. That's the part of the strategy. Finally catch up. Rocky missed the podium, finishing fourth. Things turned out even worse for the pro racing driver in race two. Trying to stay out of trouble in the frantic opening lap, Rocky ran wide and dropped to the very end of the field, eventually finishing ninth. Andre Dietzel from Volkswagen Communications scored the first World EXP's victory for TV racing after passing defending champion Julius Martin out of the slipstream at the end of lap two before he benefited from Mike Rockefeller's mistake. Julius Martin came home in P2, while Stefan Vachal confirmed his strong performance from the opening round at spa Francorchamps, finishing third and winning the amateur class. His teammate and two-time RCCO eSports Series champion Miguel Nimas had a rough day at Daytona spinning out of the lead on the opening lap of race one and being pushed off by Bjorn Skotka in the bust-up chicane on the opening lap of race two. Luckily, the accident happened only in the virtual world, but the hashtag WindShadowMan was very angry and disappointed. Oh, Scotty, what was that then? Sag mal, oh. geht's noch? Teammate Stefan Vachau saved the honor of NR Esports, finishing third, also in the reversed grid, scoring the fourth consecutive victory in the AM class. This means Vachau will soon be promoted to the pro class of World EX Beers. The dominant driver of race two was Dominic Hewson, who stayed clear of all dramas in the opening lap and kept Julius Martin at bay, who was involved in a nice three-car battle with his brother Marcus and Stefan Vachau. World EX Beers rookie Marcus Martin finished fourth as the second best AM driver, just ahead of Andre Dietzel. The race one winner spun on lap one when trying to avoid the crash between Mikhail Nemas and Bjorn Skotka. He fought back to fifth with another strong performance, which included a thrilling battle with wildcard driver Henry Drury. With the roll, yes! <laughs> Dietzel is now second in the Drivers' Championship, just six points behind Mike Rockenfeller. Dominic Hewson, Jörn Skotka and Jan Selner secured their tickets for the Super Final with their Daytona results, making it a good day for BS Power Sports. Round 3 of World EX Beers is scheduled for April the 4th at the Nürburgring.